you're considering moving to Seattle, more specifically the east side of Seattle, then you want to stick around and listen to this video. We're going to break down. here to help okay so I'm gonna break this video down into chapters that way it's a little bit more digestible so the first thing I wanted to touch on is the geography of both places Bellevue and Redmond now before I dive in geography Bellevue and Redmond are right next to each other they're very borderline cities to each other but they're very different in their own way um, Bellevue is more bustling, more urban, it's close to the 520 bridge which gives you access to Seattle. Um, Bellevue is more central in a lot of ways, it, it, it's more in the middle of things. Redmond is a little bit more rural, at least some parts of Redmond, right? There are parts of Redmond where you know people have acres and, and horses and, and it's, it, it's very different in that sense than Bellevue. Um, Redmond borders Lake Sammamish which is a great area it has more of a suburban homey feel whereas Bellevue it's a little bit more fast-paced you have the downtown tense feels more like a big city. Second chapter that we're moving on to is environment so the environment of both cities are similar yet pretty different Bellevue is basically a suburb of Seattle, but it's it's grown its in its own way to become, you know, uh, in my opinion, a much nicer, cleaner version of Seattle with skyscrapers, high quality dining, shopping, beautiful parks. It's really well maintained. Uh, it, it's it's super desirable to foreign investors, and if you if you drive across Bellevue. It's nice, you will enjoy it. Now, Bellevue tends to attract a lot more younger professionals, whereas Redmond tends to attract a lot more families. A lot of people on the east side tend to uh, go to Bellevue for a lot more activities. For example, if it's a Friday or Saturday night, most likely you're gonna be headed, and if you live in the east side, most likely, you and your partner are going to be headed to dinner in Bellevue and not in Redmond. So I hope that kind of highlights a clear picture as to, you know, the staple that Bellevue is. Um, Redmond, like mentioned before, is a little bit more suburban. It's a bit more quaint. It has, a, it does have some good dining, has some good breweries, and, and it does have plenty of activities, but it tends to be a little bit more quiet, more outdoors. Uh, Redmond's also further east, which provides more access to outdoors, such as hiking, biking, trails, and boating in Lake Sammamish. Number three, jobs, and more specifically, tech job opportunities. So the reason why both of these cities have grown so much is because of its tech workforce, right? So in Redmond, you have the Microsoft campus that takes up most of Redmond and there are a ton of Microsoft employees who live in Redmond proper and then of course Bellevue you have uh, T-Mobile headquarters you have uh, REI you have Amazon that's in Bellevue so a ton of tech jobs in both of those cities tend to attract a lot of tech workers so the, the majority of Bellevue and Redmond the majority of the workforce is tech jobs and I see that trend continue to grow number four medium home prices so hate to say it Bellevue and Redmond both have much higher uh, average home prices or median home prices than Seattle and much higher medium home prices than a lot of areas 
in Puget Sound. So um, Bellevue in specific, the medium home price is about a million five hundred and twelve, whereas Redmond's a little bit more affordable at a million four hundred and eighty-eight. Now, with that being said, both areas are probably the most desirable areas in all of Puget Sound, right? Um, and, and let me highlight once again, Seattle and the east side of Seattle are two complete different worlds. And once you come to Seattle and visit, you will see what I mean. Number five, let's touch on school districts. Both Bellevue and Redmond have some of the highest rate districts in the state, much higher performing than Seattle school districts. Um, for a lot of areas in Bellevue and Redmond, you're probably going to fall into the Lake Washington School District, which is why there's such high demand uh, for housing in Bellevue and Redmond. It's because it's fantastic school districts, it's clean, it's safe, it's close to your job. Now you see why these areas grow so much. Number six, commute and traffic. If you're planning on living on Bellevue or Redmond with the commute to Seattle, it's going to be a bit challenging. Um, you're probably looking at about a good, depending on where you're going in Seattle, you're probably looking at about a good 30 minutes of traffic. Um, however, a lot of individuals work in the east side and never go to Seattle. So that makes it super convenient if you live in Bellevue and Redmond and if you work on the east side. But traffic is a thing to account for just about everywhere in the Puget Sound area. Bellevue is much closer to I-90. It's much closer to 520. Um, so things to consider, you're, you know, if you're working in Seattle, you're going to be closer to your job if you live in Bellevue compared to Redmond. Although traffic is a concern everywhere in Seattle, the good news is uh, Bellevue and Redmond on the east side have the light rail that's set to come on at the end of 2023. That should make commuting to the city much easier. Guys, there you have it. I hope I was able to shed some light, shed some clarity and differences between Bellevue and Redmond. Comment below. Let me know which one you think you'd rather live in. Let me know which city you live in now and where you guys are watching this video from. I hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe, comment below, and until next time, peace.